Van Gogh was treated by Dr. Gachet for the last few weeks of his life after being released from the asylum in St. Remy in May of 1890. Many Impressionists came here for treatment. What was it like? Why did they come? I'll take you on a personal tour of this fascinating home just north of Paris where Van Gogh painted many famous pieces. So we are at the final location in France that Van Gogh lived. We're actually at the former home and treatment center, if you will, of Dr. Gachet. He and Van Gogh became really good friends. And I feel like Dr. Gachet sometimes gets a bad rep. Um, and he's very misunderstood. And I'm hoping you're gonna understand him better and really what he was trying to do for these artists. The town is kind of in a valley. And Van Gogh and many other artists love to come here because one, it's absolutely beautiful and quiet, but you can start to get a feel for different places that Dr. Gachet had set up so that he, because he was an amateur painter, if you didn't know that, I would not say he was pro <laughs> prolific by any means, but he definitely gave it his best with sculpture and painting and sketching. He set up these places so they could put their easels and paint whenever they wanted to. You can see why, because this is absolutely stunning. Check this out, but you can guess what this is, right? Chicken coop. That's right, there were animals. It was almost like this very compact, small farm. If you come back here, as you can see, they had built little uh, rooms into the hillside. Come on and follow me in here. Awesome story back here. You, you gotta check this out. As you know, like I just mentioned, Gachet had lots of Van Gogh paintings and from other artists. So, I mean, we're talking from like P Pissarro and um, Monet. I mean, Degas, I believe, was out here. So he had all these paintings. So during World War II, check this out. They had to hide the paintings, right? You, they didn't want them either stolen or if uh, they would be destroyed. He knew they were of value. So if you look back here, there is another very small cave back there. During the entire time of World War II, he hid all the paintings he owned, including Van Gogh's works, were back there. Like multi-million dollar now paintings just sat back there covered in a cloth. Pretty incredible. And then when they pulled them out, they were all fine, which I could not believe just due to moisture. It's not dry. <laughs> so I was amazed that, that nothing happened to them, but that's really awesome bit of information for you. T typically, you're not allowed back here, but come check this out. This is a very, very famous painting of Dr. Gachet that Van Gogh did. But you have him here, and check out this table. You see this right here? Never really paid attention to it. I always loved the color, um, but never really paid attention to it um, until now because da, 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 this is the table right back here. So a lot of what Dr. Gachet would do, he would bring artists out, especially like, let's just say Van Gogh, and they're here for treatment and they're painting. But a lot of what Dr. Gachet loved to do was just talk. They would sit and talk in these different terraced areas. And in here, this is the exact table where he would sit with Van Gogh and many others and just talk about art, about life, philosophy. It's just amazing that this is not a recreation. This is the table. Keep coming. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a painting that uh, Van Gogh did sitting, standing right here, looking this way. This is Dr. Gachet's uh, daughter who was out here. You can't tell because this is obviously a recreation on glass, but this is one of the most colorful works that I think Van Gogh did. Beyond, you know, sunflowers, yes, I get it. Just the amount of color he got out of the palette to do is just move your head around this panel and you can just see, because we have this perfect spring day, all the light hitting the different flowers around here and the tops of the bushes. And you can see where he saw these like extreme bright greens contrasting with the dark greens. I mean, to see it now in person, you're like, ah, oh, I, I can see why he was so inspired. But this is not the only place that he painted. Come follow me, I'll show you another one. There are other terraces everywhere. Another one right there. Here's another place that Van Gogh painted. I wanted you to see this because I did not know this. This bush um, or plant right here does exist. But if, do you see this massive tree that's kind of like swirling? Does it remind you of anything? Yeah, exactly, like something that Van Gogh may have put it in the starry night. That type of tree is not from here. It is not, you cannot find it. That is only in Southern France and Provence. So he would take ideas from different locations, right? Like we were talking about uh, with Starry Night with the steeple. That was inspired from his time in England, in London. And this, he put this massive wavy bush in here, or um, tree, I'm sorry, because of that inspiration of being at Saint Remy just before coming here. Just grabbing different ideas, you know, changing up the landscape. He didn't always paint exactly what he saw, which I think is pretty impressive. Let's head inside. I want to show you a few rooms and even the attic. All right, this room is really incredible. Come on in. So this is the dining room. It is very, very small. 
and you're like, why is this so significant? This was a room that only Dr. Gachet would allow kind of his closest family, his closest friends, people that he really respected, the impressionists who would come, different uh, painters. They would eat food and they would talk for hours apparently. It's just incredible like standing in here in this very small area, imagining this like super lively conversation going on with Gachet and these famous artists here to paint and just uh, to rest or to get to seek help, which is just incredible. Like I stood in here for a few minutes just quietly, just imagining how it would have sounded to somebody else hearing them, just laughing and relating and talking about the, you know, the struggles because a lot of the artists who came here had no money, right? They were not making money. They're, they would just faint if they knew how much their works are, are of value now, but at the time they did not have money, which is why Dr. Gachet would often, he would um, change services, treatments for a painting. Not because he was trying to like rip them off or take advantage of them, but because he knew they had no money. So he was like, well, I'll, you can pay me in a painting or a song or something like that. So incredible that this is where uh, a very private room would have housed lots of very, very, very famous painters. All right, so come in here. This is a much bigger room, right? So this is for guests or different people he was treating that maybe he didn't have a huge relationship, if you will. Now, this is not the same piano, very similar replica of it. There's a painting uh, Van Gogh did of Dr. Gachet's wife, and she's playing the piano in this room. Of the many artists that Dr. Gachet treated here, like Renoir, uh, got him over pneumonia, Manet, basically we're in the attic if you will of the house and you're like wait a minute this does not look like an attic it's really well lit and it is for for a good reason so you have this massive window here which is bringing in honestly probably the most perfect natural light to paint in so to that point if you look on the ceiling there are actually some uh, chains and some wheels that artists who would come up here to work would just stretch the easel and just hang it while they worked on it we're not sure exactly which artist, which, oh, I would love to know, because check this out, come closer. This reminded me of uh, the chance I got to go to Jackson Pollock's house. So basically the artists who were up here working, could have been any of the impressionists, would just, you know, clean their brush off, test a color right on, right on the beams of the ceiling. Awesome, like, I can't believe it's not covered in something. And then if you look over here, same thing and as you could tell from those colors right we've got kind of these aquamarine blues and whatnot and then here you've got these reds very like impressionistic colors if you will what i loved about here as well is there is a date 1876 i wish we knew whose hand did that then oh check this out they were even using the inside of the door to test out an idea or to just you know maybe you're in here and you're just relaxing you're like i'm just going to paint the door and of course gachet did not care he didn't bother him at all so this house is just breathing amazing art history that I don't think I fully appreciated and understood to be here uh, oh, and just soak it in. Well, I hope that gave you a better sense of one, this beautiful property that Gachet had, all these different terraces and places for artists to paint and to talk. Absolutely amazing what Van Gogh and many other artists experienced. We're gonna go to one more location. It's actually the last place that Van Gogh stayed while living. Keep following me, this is gonna be fascinating.